Serrated tussock is one of our worst perennial grass weeds. Uh, it occupies over 1 million hectares across southeastern Australia. The reason it's such a problem is it's highly invasive uh, and it's unpalatable to livestock, so it causes large production losses. Native for South America, uh, where it's a, a, a Dutch native species, and it's part of a, uh, a number of uh, other unpalatable species, so there's a suite of grasses that are closely related, and some of the others that we might find in Australia are things like Mexican feather grass. Today I'm going to be talking about the whole farm management of serrated tussock. So particularly I'm going to focus on the conditions serrated tussock requires to invade. Um, then I'm going to talk about the um, direct and indirect control methods. So direct control methods might be things like spot spraying or boom spraying. Uh, indirect methods might be things like reducing stocking rate to allow pastures to be more competitive to reduce invasion rates. Action is the most important thing because doing nothing, uh, the problem just gets worse year after year. So uh, it is, is really uh, diligence in control and, and is, is, is a really big factor. Um, and then the appropriate method depends on sort of the pastures that you have and, uh, and the densities that you have, that sort of thing. But always uh, control, focus on spot spraying isolated plants when you see them. Um, if the density is too high then you have to move to a sort of broad scale application uh, and, and trying to maintain perennial uh, competitive pastures to prevent invasion or reduce invasion. If you've got low levels, don't drive past the plant. It's, it's control it when you see it. Uh, because uh, if you put it off, then the next time, you, A, you might not find it when you go back there, but uh, also uh, if you don't control that plant, the next year there's, there's more and more. So, so that's a, a simple thing that can be done. So, so take action when you see it. Um, and the other thing is, uh, that's coming out is, is managing your pasture composition is, is really important and, and one of the big factors. So if you've got a competitive perennial pasture, uh, that will be much more resistant to invasion than a degraded pasture that's more annual dominant. When, when you're looking at it, as the density of serratusset builds up, then the economics of control become really hard to deal with. Um, so it's pre prevention and, um, and, and preventing the problem from getting worse is, is, it must be a real focus. And that's why we, today we'll really present that sort of information to show shows how the economic impact can uh, can really escalate and get out of control. If you've got a serrated tussock problem, then your first point of call is either your, your, your local weeds inspector or your LLS staff to get some information about how to, uh, what to do next, because uh, the, the best strategy might vary depending on, on where you are and, and um, how much tussock you've got.